Yeah man, self fix it grant here. So um for those who are new on my channel, I'm a plumber. Um those who been following my channel for a while, they know that I'm a plumber. And they also know that I am a jack of most trade. I can do a lot of things. Alright? So yeah, somebody hit me up on the channel and they're saying it's difficult to find good plumbers. Um here, I guess here in Jamaica. Alright? And the person correct. The person one hundred percent correct. Uh, most of the people them where do the plumbing work at Jamaica, they are not plumbers. Um, then I then I know the rules them and then I know nothing really to tell you the truth. Um, so the person is correct. All right, so when we really want to talk about one of the reasons why you are not not having good plumbers is because um, the good plumber them now go work for the price when they want to pay, right? When they don't want to pay, most of, most of the the clients them the customers them. Them no one pay. And you know, so on my channel, me talk about the, the workman them, and me talk about the customers them, or the client them. Me talk about them. Right? Me talk about everybody. Right? So, me not be unfair. No, if I workman them, a wicked and thief. No, if I client them, I see them thing. Right? Alright? So, the reason why we don't know find a good plum about the place, most of the people in Ghana, Cayman Island, gonna work. And them gone out or where the hotel them there or somewhere else where the tourists them there. You know, because them now you don't know one pay, right? So after a while they just not really have no plumber. Right? You know, just have to stick with the cobblers them. Cause me right now me I change my mind from doing plumbing. Me I try to switch to doing electrical. Right? So I'm in training for that right now, electrical. Right? So only soon I have no good plumber. Right? So Alright, so this lady called me this morning and she says she have a leak, a tank water run out of the tank because it lock off, it a leak from the lock off. So me asked her if she have a lock off. She said no, she don't have one. She asked me if me have one, me said no, me don't have one. Even though me have some of the lock off, me have it. But some people just have a problem. Yes, so once you go with the lock off and then now you want your money back for your lock off, you start here some whole thing. So me just tell her, I say, listen. First of all, I'm not going to be able to find a receipt for the lock off. I'm going to work for this person before. I'm going to say, person a problem. So, I'm going to feel like I got through that. So, I say, tell the person, they need to get a lock off. They say, oh, then I know they might get a lock off today, Sunday. I'll do it open today. But, I say, all right, you what? If you give me some gas money, me go buy the lock off here. The lady said, well, on, so well, on. Yeah, I charge me for gas money and I also charge me for do the work. So, I say, all right, you ready? Right, get your lock off and call me back. You see, Jamaican people take plumber for rum head, or crack head, or every type of head, right? My type of plumber work when I do on a regular plumber work. First of all, if me come do your, your lock off, me I cut it off right at the lock off and me I set it back right in the same spot, just like I'm showing the video. Me do good plumber work. I'm not a cobbler. I'm not a rum head. I'm not a crack head, right? None of them. So, but me charge cheap. I'm, I'm reasonable with my price, right? So some people ask, why you didn't just put the gas money in at the price? All right, so no. So I'm going to change off the lock off. I'm just saying, I'm just putting a price out there. So say I charge you uh, $3,000 to change off the lock off, right? So I charge you uh, $3,000. I may put in one other $2,000 for my time for the hardware, uh, $1,000 or $1,500. Now when this woman here, three five. She starts a Lord God, I mean four or five. Lord God, I just want to lock off your put on, and you charge me so much money. So, me rather just tell her, say, listen, give me a thousand dollar, me got the hardware for you. That's my gas money, or a fifteen, or if it's kind of far, a two thousand. Me rather tell us mention my gas money instead of me come drop it in at the price, and you feel like say yo, me are overcharge you. So me rather mention that. So I know so some people are talking about that. But them people are quite difficult, I tell you. I tell you. Plumbers know this. The people them difficult, I tell you. Them no want to pay. Them no want to pay. We work for some people have when you see the type of things where they are putting at them house. You can't believe it. But at the same time, them no want to pay you. No money for put these things in. You know? Alright. We got to our work yesterday you know? And when I sit down there with the toilet, um, the tank, the toilet tank, in my lap, and I work on it, I put in the, um, the, the flush valve. I have to take off the tank for put on the flush valve. And when I put that on and I have it in my lap, I say, suppose this thing slip out of my hand and broke right now. 
and they look a bit of money when we go do the work for me down for put on one wallet for money for that for go buy back the people them toilet right because them I want by them toilet so me I tell us that these people yeah, them no want to pay them no want to pay then we go spend a million dollar pounds on things and they want to mind if them pay five thousand for put it in a serious thing so and that's why I know about bad plumbers I does it look I look a man that we just want a money for go buy some rum and buy pound of flour and pound of chicken back and thing. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I mean, know some people not gonna like me for this, but I tell you the truth. If you want good work, you have to just pay the good trade people them for them do the work. But if you call a local man and say I walk around with a axe or blade and you look up and maybe one cheese and one hammer and them bag, you have to get cheese and hammer work. I tell you that. Right? Because when they have the other tool them for do the, the, the part of the work, they might use the hammer and cheese upon it. So if they need to pull one, 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 pull one shower stem and then don't have the proper um, socket for pull it, they might use the hammer and cheese. And they might match up the whole of tile to get to the, 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 um, the spindle. So I hope me answer the Virgin um, question, even though I didn't ask me a question, but he say, oh, it's difficult for fine plumbers. So uh, that's a reason why. And, and the other reason, a plumber, not five people we call themselves a plumber and a plumber. So I that it. But the good plumbers like me, who no not contact me and I say, yo, come do my plumber work. Who no not do that. And who no also no share the, the link. Who no not share, share the video. So I continually getting the cobblers them. So, if you don't know what's the matter the truth, give me some thumbs up. I hope you all learned something. Thank you all for watching.